Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL number 45. Oh well, we started with Get the Ref. CCL 45 round of 64 match between Gdanik and his Bretonians and Fanjo and his Amazons. And joining me in the commentary booth is Fimir and Skurametso. Take it away guys, hello. Hello. That's right, we're getting started here. Jim's going to be a little quiet because he's having either dinner or supper, depending on the quantity of his meal, not the time. Exactly, so, uh, that's been a clarified uh, pretty much. <laughs> so hit us up in the YouTube comments what you think he's eating right now, folks. It's important. Again and gotta rice. Get that. Gotta get that social engagement going. Social and rice. Hashtag chicken rice. Yeah, <laughs> we all know the answer to that. Oh, double skulls and the size to eat in them. And that player oh. is going to get fouled in a, this turn. Did oh, they yeah. need already three players down? Yeah, absolutely fluid. fluid. No, Amto, I'm, I'm wicked Italian. Yes, of course, it's a fantastic return. I'll sign for that kind of first turn. Oh, even better. Uh, so I will. I will say uh, I am quite familiar with the uh, Gdanik Tato team. Uh, he uh, primarily qualified this Bretonian team playing at the uh, the American uh, prime time into late evening, uh, also known as the Scrub Fest time. Uh, the easiest time to level up a team, rack up a lot of SPP, and get a lot of wins to get into playoffs. And uh, here he is with his uh, weird Bretonian venture adventure. <laughs> okay, this is uh, this game has been an absolute massacre. It sure has. And the apple will fail. <laughs> that is a rough piece to lose in this matchup. Yes, and you know, you then you go, no, you you KO three of my players. I'm gonna cast two of yours. I think we found the antithesis of the last game we watched. <laughs> what though. an absolutely crazy game! <laughs> yeah. Nuts. Let's see the ladies and gentlemen. After the first turn, when you you know take away three players of the opposite team, in the second turn you have to run back. Another break. Just the stun that time. Guy the blonde staying on the pitch. And fails the pickup <laughs> oh. again. Oh no, not again because it was a double skull that the fan just decided to eat, which I think was the right play to do. And look at this, Nick, right up on the ball, two, two squares away from the end zone. Jurey Nick using his classic just existing uh, technique. Yep. Well, two good coaches. Obviously, one of them probably better because he's a two-time SFL winner. He's one of only two in the history of the oh, SFL wow. to win it twice. If you didn't Who's know. Who's the other? Yeah, oh, you know, it's it, it's me. I, I was trying to be humble, but you asked the question, I got to answer it. I am the other two-time SFL champion and the first two-time SFL champion. But we're going to focus on Gdanik being the other SFL two-time champion. I mean, playing in the CCL playoffs, he's probably won that a couple times, too. Also, Gdanik, the man behind the Blitz Pits. I don't know. He managed to have time enough to qualify a team and organize Blitz Pits. But uh, congratulations to him, I guess. Yeah, some would say uh, Gdanik, motivated by a uh, desperate need to uh, launder some money, uh, started Blitz Pit, and it really took off from there. And uh, it's uh, worked out pretty nicely for him. That's why he's able to be a full-time streamer uh, during the hours of, like, 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern U.S. time until about 5 a.m. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> I, I believe it. Completely, you have no reason to lie. No, why would I? Why? Why would I possibly lie? Definitely, definitely telling the truth about my fellow two-time SFL champion, who, if you didn't know, is facing me in the semifinals for the battle for the honor to become the first ever three-time SFL champion. 
And how many months until that game happened? Well, let's see. I haven't played an SFL game since November, and I'm four and zero, and I made the, uh, the the semis. So, you know, we're all we're we're, we're a very special league. I know you gave it. Yeah, I thought he might have blitzed there to try and uh, get the knockdown, pick up, and score. But he's just keeping the pressure on. The sidestep will do wonders for your motivation to not rush things. Does seem like the uh, the casualties have slowed down a little bit. I know I'm summoning one by saying that, but uh, we seem to have leveled out a little bit here in the losses. He's gonna lie. I mean, to be fair, after five removals in the first two turns, it's pretty much gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. slow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much left. <laughs> but they're oh, still uh, doing, you know, a lot of blocks every time and hitting a lot of people. Yeah. Mostly the same guy beside the step. <laughs> yeah, this the guy's been invincible. Just, uh, yeah, he's, he's just abusing this team. <laughs> Single-handedly. Shades of... Uh, Shades of the, the single war dancer team split. <laughs> wow. Wow. Classic uh, call into Pau. Yeah. Cheeky and now, Another uh, diving, uh, another side step uh, with diving tackle next to the ball. And how many players with. Side step are just around the ball, every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. That's why I don't like side step. Makes me think. <laughs> yeah, that was the initial blitz pit. Uh, K Fog and I were both just made like basically the same Dark Elf team, just spamming side step because <laughs> we were like, God, people just aren't going to be able to deal with it in minute turns yeah. on it. <laughs> Yeah, I tried. Uh, I thought I thought a guard spam uh, Kemri team might do the same thing to coaches, uh, and I tried that in a qualifying once, only to realize that I'd never played Kemri before and didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that didn't work out well. <laughs> and now the ball is out. Wow. And it all came from his refusal to re-roll the first turn, wasn't it? Because if he'd re-rolled that, he could have made the pick up and he could have got everything together. But that kept him, did, like he failed the stabilization phase, didn't he? And then that, yes, that the thing is, he, obviously, you, if you were a fan, you think, okay, I took out three of his players, ball is safe, even uh, I don't do the pick up. I can eat these uh, double scouts because I'm ahead right now. But then, then he came and, oh, magic happened. Uh, and I will say, again, knowing this team pretty well, Gdanik absolutely not afraid of a 4-plus or a 5-plus pickup attempt. He, uh, he, he he loves them with this team. Does it all the time with that jury heads. Been sustained pressure, hasn't it? All half like he the, <laughs> the ball's only moved by getting scattered. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ball the ball has advanced its way up the pitch nicely on the ground. <laughs> Will he be scattering it again? Because he has got the catch players. They make it quite likely to catch these scatters. He hasn't bothered. Oh, it does. Might actually pick it up hands. here. Yep, yep. There you go. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. And he's got sidestep there, perfectly happy to sit there. This is looking grim for Fanjo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he needs to learn how to knock players over, doesn't he, Fanjo? That's <laughs> it's a big skill he's missing. It's just the ability to knock anybody over ever. They're turn one, yes. <laughs> turn one, you know. Oh! oh. 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 The, dotted the exclamation point there. Well, he, he knocked a player over. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> not the one he wanted. Oh, nice chain out, but then gets the ball down. He's still got chances to clear this guy. <laughs> and <laughs> and cast him anyway. Oh, well. you can cast. 
When I said I only had time for like most of this game, I didn't mean the game needed to be like eight minutes long. Yeah. He gets he gets to fill in the slots anyway and, and, and yeah. block him away. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, this is what Zons deserve, to be fair. Zons will never win Chalice. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, famous words of Timmy G. There's another one gone. Jeez. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> he just skipped. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you can do anything. It's amazing that his first turn was this. Yeah, and then yeah. the rest of the half was this. <laughs> I, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say the best thing uh, Fandro's got going for him is that there's no peasants to foul with, but there's one right there, yeah. and he's got dirty player. Yep. Yeah. And this is a strength for bludge step yeah. sure hands. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not a Kaz. Oh, Absolute just shocker. A Shocker, not a Kaz. But he's only gonna get one shot at the KO roll. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, and be... Delaney receives now. Oof. So yeah. Classic Jasek system from the Delaney. <laughs> yeah, that's looking brutal, isn't it? And the, yes, and the Apple for the Amazons failed, so yeah. <laughs> at least he got his three KOs back. So actually, he might make it a fight second now. Well, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Nine players versus eleven. Wow, that's crazy, isn't it? Four cas, four cas plus apple fail, and Nick's Nick's the one with the babes. And he still has the brave, uh, the brave and the dirty player. <laughs> Nick got one out of three on three pluses. And Fanjo got three out of three on four plus. <laughs> well, Fanjo dice in Jedenic here, clearly. <laughs> yeah, Jedenic yeah. always getting diced. Yeah, yeah. Get it's it's amazing. Easy. It's amazing who's able to qualify, you know, being <laughs> diced every single game. Mm. It's true, it was an incredible, incredible record on these Brats. They played about 30 odd games, I think, and played two people who knew how to play Blood Bowl. So it was. Pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like the old uh, ad where Sting goes to visit a kid and starts beating down the kid. <laughs> Sting the wrestle. Yeah. Yeah, it worked out eventually. I was like, what, Sting? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sting, Sting. Sting the wrestle, yes. Goes to see a kid and they go, oh my god, this is Sting, and Sting just starts wrestling him, throwing him around the house. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> That's the yeah. unique tactic for CCL. <laughs> exactly what what Thud said there. This really the only the only way Gedenic lets lets the Zons into this game is getting blitzed on. So yeah. it's the only thing he has to set up against. Yep, all about all about the stabilization phase. That's it. So that is a real good, a real good phrase coined by Dio, the stabilization phase, and Nick has been thinking about it more and more. So there you go. Fortunately, uh, did they Nick not having any Hail Mary pass? Yeah, you know, there's a limit. You can't go completely mental, can you? <laughs> <laughs> but he has the, the 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 knights can get past the skills, you know. There's a leader that could be could be Hail Mary pass. They could, yeah. But there are, there are some things at the school of Dio that you should not. <laughs> some lessons at the school of Dio you should not attend. <laughs> <laughs> and the Hail Mary pass is one of them. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, stabilization phase. It's 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 a good it's a good term, I think. Yes, yes, it's adding another uh, layer to the blue ball environment to make it look uh, better. Yeah, make it look Deep, like we're not deeper, just <laughs> deeper, you know, deeper like okay this that <laughs> make it not look like we're just all playing a little kid's dice game. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> K 
get out of town, Dio. Fuck the way, there you go, there you go, Spence die, another man. I mean, it is. HMP is part of the Blood Bowl 101 curriculum, and and, and that, the lesson is never, ever, ever take HMP. <laughs> and if you follow that rule, you'll you'll do pretty well. Yeah. Uh, you should never take a bomber. Uh, Lehman Russ, so it's okay. <laughs> GFI foul, classic. Have to. I mean, uh, gets the cars. <laughs> gets the cars. <laughs> oh, dear. This is a massacre. He's got the bribes. And still. the riot, yes. It's absolutely mental what's going on in here, the level of violence here. It is, yeah. H HMP on Snotling is the least bad use of HMP, I think, because, you know, uh, well, it's not Snotling. Uh, hey, could die. Could <laughs> <laughs> die. Get it off your team. <laughs> yeah, because because Noblas like have like Augers have the drives where everything goes terrible quite regularly. <laughs> and then, so the ability to just like get it away to so that you don't go one down in your own drive is <laughs> is used surprisingly often on such a terrible team as Augers. But I still wouldn't do it. I mean, the, the only the only reason to get the Hail Mary pass is if no alios is involved. <laughs> no, I mean there are uses for it obviously, and it is better to have the option than not have the option. Like clearly, the problem is the the uh, the, the what's it called the opportunity cost of you know taking a skill that you will use you know maybe thirty two turns of a game like guard um, instead of once every now and then if your player is still around and in the right place at the right time to use it. Like it's, that's why it's terrible, isn't it? It's just really, really, really exceedingly situational. Oh, foul did nothing that time. Nick getting diced out of this one. <laughs> Unbelievable bad luck. <laughs> Most diced coach in Blue Bowl. <laughs> Like, he's still got a score, right? So, you know, there's still a little bit of threat, but yeah, not a lot. There's not many, there's not many zones at all. Not many zones. I mean, he still has to score. Uh, the Adenix already went up. Oh, yeah, he doesn't still have to score. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah, he's just got a turtle. He's just got a turtle and win 1 0. Oh, right, oh, no. No, so so Fanjo has to get some threat on the ball then. Yeah, that's what I meant. I totally knew what the situation was. <laughs> <laughs> this Fanjo has to create a lot of pressure with uh, a handful of players. Yeah. Yeah, not easy, is it? But he managed to. He managed to get some threat there. But... They're getting tackled mighty. Oh no, just a push though. Just a push. What's this? <laughs> the sidestep as well, so he's gotta he's gotta yeah, he's gotta make the other hit first and probably can't hit him. This is a little bit tricky. Like it's a little bit tricky, right, isn't it? Okay, he's putting the he's putting the carrier in there for the sidestep. <laughs> Yeah, probably did. Probably. Nope, nope. Just another another push here. Ball safe again, though. Base yeah. cage, but like when the other team has less players than the cage has. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you've got problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, you base me. Enjoy your red dots. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? He just hasn't like he's got. He actually got a lot of threat on around the ball that yeah. turn, but just didn't have enough players. Nick almost playing too casually that the last two turns, like could have just walked up the pitch and been in scoring range, and then, 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 and then that forces Fanjo to be like, well, at any time I can lose this game if he goes up two 0 so I have to fall back and not that's, pressure him. That's a 
Apo fail and another uh, player out with the kill. Is that? Nickel. Yeah, that's yeah, that screws Nick a little bit for the next uh, for the next uh, game. Yes, <laughs> almost certainly the next game they'll get the half. Yes. <laughs> yes. But now all of a sudden the Brets. How many Brets are on the field now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Versus eight, it's eight versus eight. All of a sudden. So yeah. Yeah, you know, you know things are going not perfectly when your ball ball carrier is doing the work for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got interesting again. And there's a lot of there's a lot of sidestep on this on team. So if he doesn't get the powers, like there is yeah. a lot of sidestep. He's gonna be able to put. Side step, diving tackle on the ball next turn, most likely. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that was a good guard place, but that yeah. does that doesn't yeah. make that harder. But he can come around the back here. I think we're gonna see uh, one D blitz on the ball with tackle. That was the thing, it was easy to hit this guy, but then obviously you don't get blood step down and tackle on the ball, which maybe he should have tried to have done that. Oh, he's just going Take for the one right, Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't get it. Stick the strength four on the tackle. Yeah. I think at this point, Gedenik is getting uh, on his chair again. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit, but Fanjo's basically running out of turns here. Oof. Oh, that was a double scar that would have been uh, dangerous. Yes, Fanjo is relying on uh, somebody but dies on the got Another ball carrier blitz out. And yeah, then you get to here. Yep. And now it's in that point where it's like, okay, you maybe you can manufacture a hit on the ball, but how do you recover it and get the ball to someone that can score yeah, with so thing, few yeah. players? It's so tough. Yeah, and so little time, only three turns, and zones are uh, slow. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you could have filled in all the holes on all this, that kind of Can he can he blitz this guy? No, probably not. Oh, he's just straight in and hit the ball. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Here we with go. Tackle. Yeah, one D with 2D tackle. Two D with tackle. Oh, two D. Yeah, of course. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, he's got the pow. Finally knocks over the side stepper. <laughs> oh, and the armor break. After Whoa. 42 blocks on him. <laughs> but, but again, two turns after this, how do you get that ball off the ground and put it into the hands of someone? Well, that helps. Two stuns. Yeah, it does. Dodge away from diving tackle? No, he's just going to take the hit. And he's got a couple of players, three players. He's got no reroll. But there's like four players that are in, in kind of range, isn't there? Yeah, stun all of his players, that helps. <laughs> yeah. Gelenik, uh, still a big favorite, but things have got a little complicated here. Absolutely. Leaning <laughs> forward a lot of aggressive forward. Well, there you go, Nick, these are easy yeah. clears. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I mean, clear. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Singular. Yeah, true, true, true. I was thinking <laughs> of this guy as well because, like, yeah. you know, you're gonna hit him eventually. But yeah, only one needed to clear. He's just, yeah, he's just gotta get the mighty blow tackler off, uh, off of his mighty blower, and uh, this is, uh, uh oh, uh oh, Nick. Oh, the one D. Oh, I didn't like the one D without a reroll oh. as well. I did not like that. Ooh! Your hand's got the ball. Is he gonna do the handoff? He is. No, he's no, not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's gonna just Can he score? get the assist in and then oh, he's got run him down. Dodge away. Yeah. yeah, and then dodge this guy. Yep. So we have two handoff options. That's a real shot here. Holy shit. I think Nick's gotta be pretty mad at himself. He is <laughs> running low on players. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. I was thinking, oh my god, this is looking really well. It still is looking uh, 
decent for the Amazons. Can the can the tackle mm. Amazon score or is she out of range? The tack the block tackler? Uh out of range. Yep. So Nick has one player he really needs to worry about. Nope, he's gonna okay. No, I mean I don't think he can reach I don't think he can reach yeah. this one and he couldn't hit yeah, this one. Yeah, not as safely, yeah, not as safely for sure, yeah. Diamond tackle. Oh. Yeah. Hey, he gets away. Oh, yeah. Look at dog, five plus. <laughs> five plus dog. Outrageous. Here. Yeah, this is... Uh, that's Nick's diving tackle there now, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Gets the pow. Blocks him off, so that's got to be a 3+. plus. Oh. Ah, no, he goes the long way around. Okay, yep, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Oh, oh makes something. the handoff. It's a 1 and 9. He's done it. We're going over time. <laughs> I, I think we are the, probably the worst commentators ever been in Blue like Every single time we say, okay, this is game over, it's done, you know, very difficult. <laughs> the other team, you know, comes back. <laughs> well, that's just keeping it. That's just keeping it interesting for the audience, man. You know, you, they, they don't want. They don't want to know the future. They want to be surprised, yes, like yes. the. Uh, you know, they want to live in the moment. Oh, there's the KOs for Nick, though. Six. Cars. Those ones aren't getting up for, for Banjo, however. Uh, Nick won the toss. So now. All right, seven Amazons. Yeah. Walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and there's still 11 birds. 11 birds versus 7 zones. Surely now. Yeah, maybe that's it, Dio. Yeah, he namored him. <laughs> <laughs> Get him more screen time. <laughs> Outrageous behavior from Nick. If this were a total war fight, you'd be hitting the fast forward button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In yes. before Blitz. <laughs> Yeah, but quad speed again, is it's tough. Yeah. Again, all Nick has to do here is worry about the blitz. And basically not even the blitz is gonna do a whole lot here. Yeah, yeah, it's real rough. Real rough. This time he's just gotta actually score, I guess. Now now he actually does have to score, doesn't he? So... Yeah, he does have to score. Awesome. Hey Singolo. Here we are, extra time, unexpected, what's happening? Got so many cars. To find your... It was actually a pretty good zone team, wasn't it? Like, loads of, loads yeah. of blood step and that. Loads of guard, but just massacred. <laughs> Yeah, Nick looking a bit more focused on moving upfield this time. Well, oh, yo, 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 he can put people on the ball. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he should have made these hits first, right? To shore it up a bit. Well, Singola, if you're playing the winner of this game, you should be rooting hard for Fanjo, whose team basically doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Which means that it's gonna happen 100. <laughs> percent Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he gets the blood step on blood step DT on the ball. I didn't actually even notice how many of those injuries were permanent, but it's probably not going to matter. <laughs> it is uh, at least one dead and one uh, yeah. niggled and another missing next game. Eh? Uh, actually, not as bad as it could be. <laughs> oh, the give, give him down. The likely more important one is this block of being <laughs> yeah. uh, missing. He's miss missing it. Hmm. What are you playing this round, single? Chops. Oh, <laughs> fair, fair enough. 
I don't know why I asked that question. I guess. <laughs> with a with a professional claw pommer who uh, who greets every single block he makes. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, fails. Uh, no, no, he's he, he, he's oh wow! <laughs> what a lucky bastard! Fails the pickup that, and it scatters to the guy he was going to hand off to. <laughs> that could have just gone the other way into into the somehow only existing Amazon cage on the pitch. Yes. <laughs> Nick, that was the most Nick player. That could have been game for the Amazons. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bad Nick, never in doubt, never in doubt, sure. Oof. Oh, he's going for the uphill. Jeebus. That is asking a lot, isn't it? I mean, I guess he hasn't got oh. any players. Oh, what? Is it 2D on the wrestler instead? Hmm. I don't really know what that was accomplishing. Mm. I guess it lets, yeah, it lets someone kind of get in the way. Well, <laughs> Again, I mean, you're, try you're talking players, about seven Amazons yes. trying to get in the way. Also, those players look the same, you know, you know who are blitzing. Like. <laughs> Nick, you're I wonder how long this, this game took in real time with all that sidestep choice. Oh god, yeah, it feels like it would take forever, yeah. Yeah. And Nick plays relatively quickly, but yeah. Oop, there's Oop. another double skulls. It took forever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> might go for the dodge away from DT at the end. Like, I, I know you yeah. can just hit him. But he might go for the dodge just to, uh, you know, because if you get the diamond tackle down, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> and, like, you don't really need this player. Well, he did have a 1D with tackle on his ball there that he had to cover for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had to cover that first. Yeah, that, yeah, I like, I like that dodge because it just it just doesn't even matter that much if, uh, if yeah. you go down. Diving tackle really in this game goals. has been only a problem for the diving tackle player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's like a skill, you know, your player fa fails to the ground. <laughs> when they when they see a dodge happening next to them, they fall uh, fell to the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really I'm getting good. tired. <laughs> it was the middle of the night. And at the end of the game was a new dawn. <laughs> A new age has begun. Oh, well, that's not enough, is it? There's, there's this full screen behind now. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why he didn't follow the base there. Yeah, that's, that was too little. I mean, it wouldn't have done it. He's, again, he's got four, three Amazons in the vicinity, so... Yeah. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? But... Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I... He probably had to, like, roll more, like, GFIs and dice and everything to just try and get something, yeah. didn't he? Because this is, this is too easy. Yeah. He needed that strength for Zon where the strength for Zon is with a chance to dodge and hit a guy who was unprotected, not dodge and hit, well, just get pout and probably die, I guess. Yep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be dead. It's just an absolute wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nick is American, knows a thing or two about building walls. Not building the wall. He's going to build a wall and the Zons are going to pay for it. Well, they're paying, yes, they're paying for it. <laughs> yeah, they really have seven cats. <laughs> yeah, yep. So what's he got to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can get there and one dice him if he goes through all of this. It's ridiculous. Uh, can he go on the left side? Just make it a five plus three plus or five plus four plus? No, no he's, he's not going. Try. He's not even going to try. Going, yeah. going to try to kill a player. Parting shots. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that sure was more interesting than I expected it to be after yeah. the first five turns. <laughs> the first turn looked like it was going to be a dice in the other way, didn't it? No, and then, yeah. no and then I won't then, give it in just crazy until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. One year away. Woo! Thank you very much, Peppered Biscuit. An entire year. Unbelievable. Thank Whoa. you so much for staying fantastic. Absolutely flippin' glorious. And that's it. After a rough night with the Amazons, a good day starts for Nick.
<laughs> Burt's a winning chalice. Yeah, maybe. I mean, this is a terrible team. But Nick is a good coach. <laughs> I feel like his run is going to come to end in his next match against Singolo. But, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Seems likely, yeah. <laughs> he is good at Blood Bowl, so... You know, um, he's, he's going to have a chance, right? And But, uh, yeah... Congrats to uh, Gadenic. Commiserations to Fanjo. Thank you very much. Skuro and Faime, absolutely glorious of you, especially with covering me through my eating dinner phase. Ah, <laughs> uh, no problem supper. at all. Wasn't it supper? It was it dinner was for dinner. me. It was dinner for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not second breakfast, though. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't Fuck forget to like and subscribe. Fuck off, Dimmy. And stay fantastic. <laughs> Fuck off.